favourite, my recent personal favourite, dragon fruit. I got these guys when they were pretty much yay tall. And then basically, watch this space. <laughs> I've been trying to, so I've planted them specifically in, in certain spots so that they, because they like to climb, as you can see. That one there is climbing up, 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 look at that. This one is climbing that way. Now there was some more stuff that was kind of going this way but didn't have anything to grab onto. So we've just recently pulled some string, like cotton or hemp string or something like that, on there. And if you can see, these little, this is what I do. I, even with passion fruit as well, they have those little, um, whatever you call them. <laughs> I just came back from a big walk on the beach. Um, they just grab onto things, you see? Little hands, grabbers, and they just, um, basically, I've just wrapped them around there. And I'm hoping that they will find a way to this corner. That's where I want it to, to, to go. So you just guide them. And then this one here, as you can see, I've just been turning it to go that way. And that's now going. You see that? If you go in closer, I'll try and get in closer. It's a bit hard. <laughs> see, see all those, all those little hands there grabbing onto it. And that's going up and up and up and up. So, and then if you look on the other side, <laughs> that's just a quick, that just a quick one. That's my jasmine, isn't she beautiful? So that's kind of going a bit yellow. I need to fortify that and uh, raspberry coming through from the other end so there's more jasmine there so I'm just going to basically cover that and now if you look closely <laughs> we had to have some work done here had a new roof put in so um, one of these guys up there see where it's coming through looking for the sun so one of those fell off so basically what I just did You'll be fine, buddy. So I'll just put it right there. And I do have another one where I'm going to put around about there somewhere. Just figuring that out. So, now come with me this way. Remember these guys? They were about, yeah, probably, they've, they've probably doubled in size. So now again, this is just a quick update. Sweet lime on the way. There's some, some stuff growing there. Then we have mulberries. They're a bit sad. I didn't get to them in time because it was just, there's just so much to do in the house. And then, wow, look at this beauty. Washington navel oranges. Aren't they just gorgeous? That is finally fruiting. You can see here, actually here, right here. Beautiful oranges in the way. Isn't that amazing? And then, Ah, oh, I have the best surprise. <laughs> then this one, this is our little blood orange cross. There's some flowers there. Haven't seen fruit yet. Cross, I believe that's lime again. Because we had that lime in the garden. That was just cross-pollinating with everything else. And we also have, so we will have some of, hopefully, some blood oranges this year. And then mandarins, they haven't taken off yet. And that also has some lime there too. And then what you do here, that's my wattle as well. That's quadrupled, four plus four or five times higher. So there's a little baby banana. Oh, look at my bobo, it's just insane. It's just gone. We're thinking maybe we'll take the uh, windows off the top floor and just grab them from there. And we also have bananas. I will have to, <laughs> it's a bit tricky. It's very tricky to take that off. Put them in a bag because you have birds and, um, oh, what do you call those flies? Fruit flies, yes, that they just absolutely destroy them. So most people here put them in a bag because otherwise you won't get to eat any of them because just they just absolutely get demolished so that was just a quick update here on the front so that was, that was the grandma that was the one that i pulled out it was that's probably double because they grow pretty slowly to start with and then they just ramp up this one is taken about uh, i'd say close to three years to fruit to bear bananas and then there's another one here so what I've done you move one away 
say a couple of meters and then you leave one with the mum so that's the one and as soon as that one started growing the mum just went and flowered and now we have about uh, from memory about six bunches of bananas so far I've counted and growing and growing and growing further there's a tiny little baby somewhere out there that's coming up as well so I might um, well see how that goes if that survives then maybe I will just take that and move it um, somewhere else if not then um, well and then you won't survive it's just the uh, the nature is sometimes cruel, it's the survival of the strongest and the fittest. So that's it, and just a little stevia pot here. I should repot that, but I just haven't had a chance to do much. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.